Have you ever heard about the Moroccan pirates? Also known as the Salih Rovers, they were a formidable force on the Mediterranean Sea in the 17th and 18th centuries. They hailed from the city of Sale, situated at the mouth of the Boragreg River, from where they launched their audacious attacks. They preyed on ships of all nationalities, French, English, Spanish, capturing cargoes and crews. The captured crews often faced a grim fate, sold into slavery and their lives forever altered. With their diverse backgrounds hailing from North Africa, Europe and America, these pirates were a unique blend of Muslims, Christians and Jews. Did you know that the Moroccan pirates were also active in the Atlantic slave trade? These pirates, also known as the Sali Rovers, were a formidable force, not just in the Mediterranean, but also along the West African coast. Their activities were far-reaching, capturing Africans and selling them into slavery in the Caribbean and South America. This brutal trade was a dark yet significant chapter in the history of the Moroccan Empire. Their maritime exploits and ruthless business practices made the Moroccan pirates a significant force in the Mediterranean and Atlantic history. Ultimately, their actions not only shaped the rise of the Moroccan Empire, but also had a profound impact on the economy and society of the region. Among these pirates, some names stand out. Have you ever heard of Yan Yansun or Sally Reis? Yan Yansun, also known as Murad Reis, was a Dutch pirate who converted to Islam after being captured by Barbary pirates. His fearsome reputation rippled across the Barbary coast, making him one of the most dreaded captains of his era. Then we have Sally Reis. An Ottoman admiral, he commanded the sail fleet during the 17th century, striking fear into the hearts of seafarers and making a name for himself among the ranks of the notorious Sally Rovers. But the list doesn't end there. Let's not forget about Mimin el Batruni, another formidable figure on the high seas. His exploits were the stuff of legends, and his name became synonymous with the Moroccan pirates of his time. And then there's Ali Reis, a maritime marauder whose tales of daring escapes and audacious attacks are still told today. Last but not least, we have Saida al hura As the Queen of Tetuan in northern Morocco, she was a powerful and influential pirate queen who commanded respect and fear in equal measure. These pirates have become legendary figures, continuing to intrigue and fascinate people through numerous books, films and TV shows. The Moroccan pirates, with their audacious exploits, have left an indelible mark on history. These corsairs, operating off the coast of Morocco, were a formidable force in the 17th and 18th centuries. They were not just pirates, but also key players in the Atlantic slave trade, capturing and selling Africans as slaves in the Caribbean and South America. Their influence extended beyond the seas, shaping the economy, society, and even the rise of the Moroccan Empire. This diverse band of pirates, hailing from North Africa, Europe and America, and representing a mix of Muslims, Christians and Jews, played a significant role in the dynamic history of the Mediterranean. Their impact was far-reaching, and their legacy is still palpable today. The legacy of the Moroccan pirates, with their daring deeds and diverse backgrounds, continues to be a source of fascination and intrigue even today.